back here with a look at this uh, PayPal chart. All right, last video I did, we were talking about a bottom coming in here. Okay, it looks like we have bottomed out at uh, 57.29. All right, which was way down here. Okay, I expected it uh, to bounce up around the 59. What was that 50? Yeah, around 59 bucks. All right, came down a couple dollars couple dollars further all right and I believe this is a double bottom coming in here if we look at the RSI's on this thing all right first let's go to the daily all right that daily chart we have a beautiful nice uh, bounce down here uh, this is the second day in the green got some buyers coming in um, Friday we had uh, 19 million and so far today we've had 14 million come in okay on volume down here so not too shabby the daily RSI is just turning back up the relative strength index at a six and a four all right so that's beautiful that's where we want it all right we got the 12 hour uh, at a six and almost a four okay beautiful now look how oversold we are down at the bottom 34 all right uh, the four hour uh, we are at a 32 down here and we are at a 50 and a 42 all right so you can uh, if we go out in the weekly the weekly RSI is trying to turn back up okay you see the stochastic see the bend this thing's getting and see the straightening out down here this curve on the bottom that's starting to come up here all right that's on your weekly and uh, let's take a look and see where the monthly's at the monthly's at a 70 and a 71 okay and look where we are down here 34 all right so i'm expecting this monthly to uh to start curving back up okay i i would expect this thing to flip bullish uh absolutely this thing is so oversold all right and if you take a look at the weekly here um and just open this chart up all right you can see a beautiful uh this would be a double bottom a w formation whatever you want to call it you know you can see your first touch here your second touch you know and at least you always at least come up to finish the w out you know what i mean the w formation here your breakout area would be uh you know the neckline of the w whatever you want to call it uh that would be your breakout area so definitely you know if, if like if you inverted this chart and that ended up being a double top that's extremely bearish and that's a m formation okay w formation is a, uh, a bullish formation and if you're interested in that stuff i have a level three membership i have seven videos in there right now over four hours <clears throat> worth of videos teaching stuff like this uh using Fibonacci's uh, bullish and bearish divergences bottoms double tops double bottoms wedges I, everything you know I, I add at least one video a week over there I just started this a month ago and uh, you can go sign up for that level three memberships twenty four ninety nine. you know I have probably a thousand dollars in classes and uh, thousands of hours you know uh, four and a half years of looking at these charts so uh, everything I know is over there so if you learn just one thing from over there uh, how to spot double bottoms you know how to spot uh, uh, wet, how to draw wedge formation you know just one pattern will pay you back that uh, over and over and over again so if you're interested in that please go check it out I'm a small youtuber any bit helps you know even a 99 cent membership that's monthly that uh, that helps the channel just a like and subscribe helps tremendously so every every little bit uh, anybody does to help I appreciate so very very much all right so we have the weekly RSI trying to flip back up on PayPal here uh, we have the daily right at the bottom the 12 hour at the bottom uh, that four hour extremely oversold down here and, and bullish okay now if you look at this if you do look at this thing on a weekly open this up this thing ended up doing uh, you know seven waves down inside here which signifies a bottom also five waves down five Elliott waves down usually signals a bottom but when you do that seventh one um, you know you had let me point them out here and one two you know you could go three four five here right like that okay then you had your uh, sixth wave right here and then you had this doesn't do seven waves the Elliott wave one here then you had your seventh wave down here all right which would have finished that way over here that 
that would have been your bottom, all right? So you had seven waves down in this thing, which absolutely signals a bottom. Um, RSI is extremely oversold. Uh, PayPal's due for a bounce. You know, had some people commenting that uh, it looked weak. Well, it absolutely looked weak. It was, uh, it got uh, pummeled here with the last couple months. You know, it's just gotten beat down since, uh, well, a year, the last year. July of 2021 is when this thing topped out at uh, 310 bucks. All right, now we're down at uh, no, $59, you know. So yeah, it's definitely got a beat down here. You know, if you do any kind of, uh, and I believe in these Fibonacci's, you know, if you give me one tool to trade with, I, this is, I'll take this. You know, these Fibonacci's, just to pull back up to that 618 <clears throat> is 186 bucks. The 702 is at a 213, and usually you always get, once you find a bottom, you'll get a bounce up to these areas, okay, and either uh, the 618, 702, and it's either going to roll over and, and keep going down, or you're going to hit them areas, and you're going to go on to set new highs. One of the two is going to happen, but you always uh, put that fib on there, especially on the weekly, and watch for these key areas to start coming in. Um, yeah, a lot of times with the stock market, sometimes you only get a 50% retrace market to retrace with the stock market. I cover mostly crypto. So crypto, usually, you know, your 618, 702, like if we go on a daily here, all right, let me uh, find just an instance to show you how this thing works. Okay, let's go back over here. Um, I'm going to look for a pullback area here. Okay, um, just to give you an idea how this, this Fibonacci uh, works, then we'll end up breaking up. All right, right here, right in this move here. Okay, this thing rebounded to, we go from the top to the bottom. Pull down the bottom here. There you go. There's a 618, okay? We went from this top, let me point this out, this top to this bottom. And we almost got a 618 retrace right here, okay? The stock market sometimes uh, will come up a little little short. Or, or no, I'm sorry, it shot through, it hit the 702. There's where it was, okay. So rewind the video uh, 30 seconds and see what I said. 618 or 7, it ended up hitting the 702 on the dot right there there's your retracement you know and if it doesn't break through them areas just like i said uh you know 30 seconds ago um the, the coin rolls over and goes the other way that's exactly what happened in this instance here okay so you had your fall down you had your bottom come in here and then your retracement started up and uh that's where you got stopped out now if you match the rsi up with this a lot of times all right, you had your daily RSI right here, getting towards the top, it, it turned down, but then right here is where it started turning back up again, right, right in about this price area, all right, and then uh, once we got that 702, of course, that daily rolled right over, but you can trade just with this, you know, the daily and weekly RSI a lot of times, you know, if you have a really... Um, if you look through the charts and the thing has a good history of, of working with the RSI, you know, um, right with it, then especially on the weekly. The weekly really seems to, to play out pretty good. You know, and you can look at the, just this last example here, okay? And, and I teach this in my classes. As this RSI headed up, this was the same price action right here. Right. The top came in right there on the RSI, okay? So if you would have been in that from, uh, what was it, $61 up to $75, you would have known the top of the RSI was coming in. And there it goes down the other side, right there. The RSI started rolling over the other side, and price action headed down. That's especially on the weekly, or uh, the weekly, it, it really... Um, if you go back and look through charts, and just go look through them and and pull up the RSI. You know, I, I have a uh, how to use trading view video in there for members. Um, you can pull your RSI, just go right here to this uh, four squared thing. Go down to oscillators, click on it. Okay, now you'll get three of them to pull up. I always close the bottom one out. 
mainly for room and then this one here the regular RSI you go into settings if you want it just like mine you click on the yellow turn it the whole way down click on the purple turn it the whole way up hit OK and there you go there's your uh, your stochastic you don't have to do anything to it your regular RSI there you go you're all set up so that's how it works guys all right thank you very very much please hit the like and subscribe and i will be back with you when we have more price action on paypal thanks guys